Greetings and welcome to a new video. I hope you are all doing well. In this video, I will show you how to install and use the Misaka Package Manager. And it works without a jailbreak. The Misaka Package Manager is completely free for everybody. So first of all, I will show you how to get it and then we will discuss the support and then I will show you how to use it. First of all, guys, if you check out the official Twitter page for the developer, you will see a link to their official discord right here i will attach it in the description or in the pinned comment for your reference once you join their official discord server or channel you will see it right here we have misaka right here then you will go to downloads and then you will pick whichever is the latest release for you so currently at the time of making this video the latest one is version 2.5.1 if you do not see the downloads or releases you will just have to simply read the rules verify and then you can simply download it from here officially next you can use sideloadly which is also completely free to install misaka package manager onto your device or if your device or the version supports troll store you can use that as well so simply head to the official website for sideloadly scroll down and you can get sideloadly for your windows flavor from right here also you will need to install itunes and icloud app for windows using these official links install it and then you can simply open sideloadly guys before we install misaka package manager I would like to talk about the support so as you can see it right here currently at the time of making this video it will support from ios 15.0 to 15.7.1 and ios 16.0 to 16.1.2 on all devices be it arm64 or arm64e all right for the kfd it will support from ios 16.2 through 16.5 also including 16.6 .6 beta 1 for a12 to a16 devices meaning iphone 10s to iphone 14 pro max the kft support for the arm 64 devices for ios 15 will may be added in the future the developers did try it and it worked so it will work with added support for 15.7.2 to 15.7.6 in the future currently it is only for 15.0 through 15.7.1 no guys a jailbreak is not required to run misaka package manager but it is like cedia where you will get all the repos that are supported by misaka and then you can install your tweaks and themes all right guys as you can see i have opened side loadly and connected my device via usb yes it's an iphone 7 on ios 15.4.1 which is supported now simply i will select the ipa for misaka from here all right then hit open then type your apple id right here any normal apple id will work then simply hit start also if you are doing this for the first time please type in the password when it's asked you installing and it is almost complete okay so it is done and you can see the misaka app on my home screen so before you open it you will have to verify the app by going to settings then general then going to device management and trusting it make sure you are connected to wi-fi also on ios 16 you will have to enable developer mode just simply go to general privacy scroll down and here you will find developer mode turn it on and the app should now open all right you will see this message hit ok hit agree and from here select the icon for misaka of your choice so i will go with the default one set and here you can see we have the sources from where you can install your tweaks and themes 
we have the news section which will carry all the new tweaks or themes or you can see the packages which you have installed and we have a full-fledged file manager you can see we can browse it from here just without a jailbreak without any problem let's say guys i select a source from here now from here let's say we are going to try the plampy ui which will change the control center icon open it and from here simply hit on get you will see cute and then confirm downloading and extracting and then it is installed you can simply close out of it then go to packages then simply select a package from here it is applied now you can simply respring hit restart let's go home and you can see our icons are now changed to plampy ui just without a jailbreak all right guys now let's try something else i will again open the misaka package manager i will go to news so that we can try some theme so let's first of all try the supervised mode you can set your device to supervised mode on by using misaka package manager it is very easy to do you can see i have installed it go to packages and simply select supervise now after the respring when i get in and open settings you can see this iphone is supervised and managed means the supervised mode is set to on you can simply turn it off by going to packages and turning off supervised restarting the springboard going back in you can see the supervised mode is now off you can also uninstall or delete a package by holding it uninstall cute and confirm now let's try something i will go to news i would like to try dark pearl get and simply install it by confirming simply close go to packages select it from here select and guys after a respring you can see when i get in the theme is instantly applied you can check it out right here it applied without any problem and it looks great also guys to complete the theming process you will have to again open misaka and you will see this message just hit yes and the theme will be applied completely you can see it right here it is looking beautiful now guys i hope you know the basic functionality and how to use it so please go ahead and experiment with different themes different tweaks you have many repos as you can see it right here to try them out that's all for this video guys if you still have questions please ask in the comment section and i will reply you as soon as possible i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care of yourself